Alright guys, this is uh, Kevin with Louisiana Snake ID on Facebook, LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube. Check us out and subscribe to our channel so you'll get notifications. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Um, real quick video, this is an Eastern Copperhead. It is a juvenile. He does have a little slightly different color tail. Can't see it very well. He's rattling it, vibrating it. Snakes will do that when they're scared. They'll vibrate their tails. Uh, even the ones that aren't rattlesnakes, it's just a way to say, hey, just leave me alone. It's kind of like a, a dog growling at you or showing his teeth or a cat hissing. They just want to be left alone. This guy is venomous. He's one of the venomous snakes in, uh, snakes in Louisiana. And they get a bad rap about being really aggressive. This, he's really not. He's just wanting to get away from me. Um, we were called. A guy had this. Uh, they were able to get it in a bucket. Um, so I came to get it just to relocate it away. So I want to do some videos, take some pictures of it, because they're absolutely gorgeous snakes. The lighting outside right now is just perfect, and the colors are amazing. You can see the Hershey Kiss pattern on the side. Uh, that's a very distinct feature of Eastern Cotton uh, Copperheads, excuse me. And I just wanted to shoot you a couple shots so you can see how absolutely gorgeous the snake is. And also, I'm going to see if I can get him to strike to see how fast he strikes. It's crazy. Like, see, he doesn't really want to do anything. He's trying not to. He doesn't want to. He's not. He doesn't want to. Yeah, he might not even strike. That just goes to show you that how they're not really that aggressive. Oh, there he was. See how fast that was? So fast. Absolutely gorgeous snakes. Some of the prettiest venomous snakes in the entire world. Uh, their camouflage is amazing. I'm gonna do some videos with this guy. Uh, in his camo tomorrow when I have better light because it's getting dark. But I wanted to take some good shots of him. He's, he's uh, looks like he shed probably pretty recently, so his colors are real nice. And um, anyway, if you see these guys, give them distance, spray them with the hose to get them to go away, uh, leave them alone, contact our page. We can either come get it if we're close enough, or I have some friends around the state who will come gladly catch the snake, relocate it. And uh, it'll be fine to live out its life, um, killing mice and rodents, and uh, not bothering anybody. They don't want to bother anybody. Um, they will not bite unless it's the absolute last line of defense, um, as snakes do. I mean, people think they'll chase them, or they just want to bite people. This snake knows that he has no chance of eating me. He has no chance of eating a dog. So he's wasting his venom by biting you. That's all. He's not a constrictor. Uh, they, they bite, they inject with their venom, the venom kills their prey, then they find it. They're pit vipers, so they have pits on the front of their head to sense the heat of, the, uh, of their prey. But like I said, this guy is wasting his venom biting me. The bites he's made onto my hook over here, this grabber, have all been dry bites. I haven't seen any venom, and they can control that, they can regulate. He realizes it's not prey, so he's not even injecting venom. He's just trying to get me to leave him alone. It's, look, it's understandable. Um, but... I've just been mesmerized by how awesome these snakes are. Um, all right, guys, check us out on Facebook, Louisiana Snake ID. Subscribe and turn on your notifications on LA Snake Boys with a Z on YouTube. Um, and if you have any questions or you come across a snake, send us a picture. That's what we do. Uh, we'll ID it. If we need to come catch it, we will. Um, or we're somebody that we know that we entrust will come get it. Just to get it away, we would rather do anything to help save the snake from getting killed. Um, but the more you know, know about these snakes, the more you learn, the less you'll fear them. Uh, we have plenty of people on our page who are deathly afraid of snakes. And now that they follow the page, they don't want to go out to catch them. I'm not suggesting on our page to go catch snakes. The whole point of our page is to educate to where you're not freaking out when you see one in your yard. You can quickly identify what it is. Like this guy right here, Hershey Kiss Patterns, right there in the middle of the belly. That's what you're looking for, a copperhead. Boom, you know it's a copperhead. And when they're young, they have a bright, bright tip on their tail. This one's kind of a dark green right now because it's fading. Um, that's another way to tell. Um, now, cottonmouths do have uh, the bright tip on their tails in a juvenile, but copperheads, I mean, cottonmouths, excuse me, cottonmouths have very jagged patterns. And you can see in this one's very smooth lines. Um, the cottonmouths are more pixelated. But anyway, if you need help identifying, relocating, uh, or just want to learn more about snakes and why they're beneficial, this guy right here, this copperhead, they are captured sometimes and their venom is extracted and it's used to treat cancer. Most people didn't know that. This guy right here not only will eat rodents that are covered in fleas and ticks, and rodents, fleas, ticks all carry diseases that could even be potentially deadly to humans. I mean, the, the plague was, was spread by 
fleas on rats. So not only will it do that, their venom is so unique that it's actually being studied to be able to treat cancer and is used to treat cancer. So just another reason to leave them alone. Um, don't kill them. Somebody will come get it and relocate it and it won't bother a person. It won't bother you. And uh, like I said, just let us know. That's what we're here for. Talk to y'all later.